Okay guys, I am crossing my fingers, my eyes and my toes. I would cross my ears too, but they won't reach. I have built a timing map and it's not super aggressive. It just adds in, eh, in the wide open throttle portion of your timing table around three to four degrees of timing. Basically, and I'm not, I'm not claiming to be an expert. I am not saying follow this, you know, procedure. It's not a tutorial. I'm just sharing what I'm trying to see what it'll do. Now, keep in mind, I'm not trying to hurt anything and I'm not trying to make maximum pump gas power. So I'm just trying to improve the rear wheel horsepower of this thing on pump gas 87 to 89 octane hopefully and increase my power between 2000 and 4000 rpms because as it stands right now with the current tune that i have it's just lazy between 2000 to 4000 and then has a noticeable kick or increase in power once you reach about 4,000 RPMs on up to the red line where you shift. So, I have spent considerable amount of time searching the uh, HP Tuners Tune Repository, which sucks to me because as many people who use HP Tuners to power tune, super tune, improve all these 4.8 liter trucks, there's almost nothing other than stock tunes on that repository. So I'm like, okay, what are you gaining by just seeing somebody else's factory tune unless I'm missing something? Because there are quite a few, like majority, I'd say 90 to 95% of the 4.8 tunes on that repository. It just says stock tune, stock tune, stock tune over and over again. So you're going, I'm trying to tune my car to make it go faster. I don't care. I mean, basically that's a safety feature for somebody who may be connected to their computer, made changes to their uh, tune before they saved their base file, and now their car won't start and they screwed themselves. Sorry for that bad word, I apologize. But they lost their base tune, so now they need to be able to go back to a completely stock tune. So that's the only validation I can come up with as to why the HP Tuner Pro has all these stock tunes in the stupid repository. But out of the 4.8s that I have to choose from, I have one tune that was slightly modified and I have one tune that's heavily modified which has a really scary looking timing table. So I chose not to try that at this point because that's like a high octane uh, tune with some pretty aggressive timing curves and timing values. So basically what I did, <coughs> excuse me, I went to the sloppy mechanics, I think it's called How To HP Tuners 101 or something to that effect, and basically just slowly went through his tuning video and robbed a bunch of the, <laughs> bunch of the timing table figures from his video put them in, smoothed them, used the smooth features, because there's two or three different tabs, or not tabs, icons you can press on, you press on in the HP Tuner Pro that'll help you smooth both the horizontal and vertical uh, trims and all that junk in, or in your timing table. So basically, I now have a new tune that I'm labeling in my file as experiment, and I'm gonna upload it and see what it does. Okay. Try to get this all in in a 10 minute window so I can just add this to my previous footage to make a movie slash video. <clears throat> okay, this is the, now I will say first and foremost, this is not recommended for the faint of heart. This is not a proven timing table. This is my first attempt ever as an amateur to create a timing table to create better power in a straight pump gas, and I mean 87 octane pump gas, 4.8 LS engine. Okay, all I did so far 
was add approximately four degrees of timing through the wide open throttle uh, power portion of this timing table. I did not really change anything in the upper areas other than use the features of the, if you'll look right here on your uh, HP Tuner Pro, you can click this and it will smooth your selection. If you click this, it will smooth the transitions between your horizontal cells. If you push this, it will smooth the transitions for your vertical cells. <clears throat> Basically what I did, and I'm gonna be totally upfront and honest with you, I watched Sloppy Mechanics video. So I watched Matt, watched Matt Happel's video about like HP, HP, HP Tuner, 101 or how to how to HP tuner 101 whatever his video is I just paid very close attention to the histogram That he showed on his tuning of the I think it's, it's he doesn't tell you what size engine it is He just says it's in like it's listed as like a 2500 Chevy truck or something, but I basically put some of his figures probably 97% of the figures that he had on his histogram of that tune that put down 296 horsepower to the tires, okay? First and foremost, do not copy and use this, especially if you're not gonna run premium fuel. I have only done a very short drive time data log on this particular timing map. Do not attempt to use this as your go out and race somebody because I don't know that this will work in your particular vehicle. Again, I am an amateur. I am not someone to be followed or trusted with tuning your car. I am just learning. I am, so if you're watching this video, we are equal on that level. Don't know what I'm doing. I just built a timing table, took it out to let me see what it would do, would it detonate, did I have problems? First and foremost, I wanted to improve my power between 2,000 and 4,000 RPMs. I also wanted to try to pick up some top-end power. So I basically took numbers that I stole from Matt Happel's video, put it into my timing table in the cells, blended and smoothed everything, loaded it in the car, and took it for a drive. Okay, let's, so now that we got that out of the way. Basically what I've done is in certain areas of the table, I added two, I wanna say two degrees, and then once you got into the power, what I'm gonna call the meat and potatoes of the wide open throttle pull, I added four degrees for a maximum commanded uh, ignition timing of 26 degrees wide open throttle. Okay, I, at this point, cannot verify spark retard. I don't know for sure if there was any spark retard, but we did have a timing drop. We had a concern with timing drop. What we noticed the first thing when we were watching the uh, drive data was on a wide open throttle pull. And when I say wide open throttle, I mean throttle position sensor is 100% at the let's see right before 5100 rpms map sensor was showing 0.95 okay let me throw this out there right now before i forget in the video where matt happel does his wide open throttle pulls on this pick uh, 2006 chevy pickup it never exceeds 0.84 on the cylinder air mash per gram so right there, I, I've got like a, not a red light, but like a concern because I am at 5,100, just before 5,100 RPMs, I'm already showing 0.95 on my, uh, on my uh, cylinder air mass per gram. So I'm gonna have to go back, rewatch the data and see what was going on with there. But at that wide open throttle, 100% TPS, 5,100 RPMs, I should have seen 26 degrees of timing, okay? Even at 96, uh, let's see, 0.96 of the cylinder air mass, 
at 5,100 RPMs, I'm still in the 25 to 26 degrees demanded timing, okay? For some reason, the computer dropped it to 20.5. I cannot identify any note, I can't see, okay, let me go over here to the scan data so I don't get confusing. When I run this live data, <clears throat> I don't identify any spark retard uh, events on my live run data. So I don't know for sure what's going on at 5100 RPMs wide open throttle that would pull five and a half degrees of timing out of the engine but the only thing that we could come up with was some kind of spark uh, retard situation. Reason being, I did have 108 degree uh, intake, or I'm sorry, intake air temperature stayed right around 100, 105, 108, somewhere in that range, which is kind of high to begin with. But my engine coolant stayed right around 190 degrees. I didn't find any irregular situations with my, like my map pressure, my, all that junk. But for some reason, the computer decided to pull that timing out. So I need to go back and find out why between 5,000 RPMs and 5,350 RPMs, the timing was pulling, or the computer was pulling out anywhere from two and a half to five and a half degrees of timing. Okay. Common sense is going to tell me, again, I am not a professional, I do not claim to be one, and I'm not trying to tell anybody to run what I'm doing. I'm just pointing out the fact that I built this timing table in an attempt to make more power in my vehicle, and I'm fairly certain that I was experiencing some form of detonation that caused the timing or the computer to re retard the spark. Okay, with that said, I absolutely am winning between 2,000 and 4,000 RPMs. Like previously, when I tried to drive my vehicle, I gotta be kinda quick here, you could floor the vehicle, even though the power enrichment TPS percentage is at 50%, you could floor it past 50%, but until you hit 4,000 RPMs, the engine didn't pull cleanly, it didn't pull hard. You had literally a weird rush to power kind of like a Honda VTEC. Right as I approached 4,000 RPMs, you had a marked improvement in power that pulled from 4,000 to redline. So the timing table that I've created so far has successfully created power between 2,000 and 4,000 because I can get out here right now in first, second, or third gear, roll into the throttle, and as soon as I go past half throttle, it's got a crap, it's got a lot more power. Like I am totally impressed at the gains I've made between 2,000 and 4,000, but we gotta figure out what I've done wrong that's causing the computer to, to scream foul from 4,000 to 5,100 plus. Because at this point, I gotta go in, strap, strapulate my data, and look at all the points and find out exactly what I did wrong and what I need to fix, so. Trying to stay away from 92 octane gas, trying to stick with the 87, uh, but I may be limited to the power I can make at that octane level. So anyway, I just wanted to share this information with you. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I'm gonna learn right along with you. Again, I am not a professional. I stole some information from sloppy mechanics, put it into my stupid programmer, and went out to see what it'd do. Thank you guys, keep watching.